love clothes. I love shopping. I like spending money. It's a hobby. I need to find a more sustainable one. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nyla. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? Come join the family that I'm trying to build here. You're gonna love it here. The people who are currently here love it here. Tell your friends they're gonna love it here. So come subscribe. So, today's video, I really set this up like so nicely. Like, I'm so proud of myself. Like, look at the aesthetic here. It's giving what it is supposed to have gave. But today's video is a mini Zara haul. Um, so I have some clothes behind me on this rack. Um, I also have some shoes below on the rack as well, but you can't see them. Um, I will zoom in on them uh, later and insert a clip so you can see all of them, but I'm also going to pick them up and show them on camera. But I have been meaning to do this haul for a little while. Um, but one, my lashes weren't done at one point. My hair wasn't done at one point. I was waiting to get it recolored, which it is. Um, my nails need to be done at one point. We're due for a fill-in, but you can't really tell that much on camera, so ignore that. Um, and also, I just wasn't feeling that comfortable in my body, so I didn't really want to film. But now I'm feeling a little bit better, not in my funk anymore, so I was like, let's do this. So when I was in Atlanta, um, last month yeah last month um with my friends celebrating alexis and brady's birthday if you haven't watched that vlog i'm gonna link it right here go watch it it was such a good time um we actually went to the zara store on our way out we don't have a zara here in north carolina which is really stupid i don't understand why we don't have one either like in durham or charlotte we don't have one at all so um i bought things from zara before online but i've never been into a physical store until we went to atlanta so when we were there i picked up a few pieces as you can see behind me but the shoes i did order those online um so everything that i ordered if it's on the website still i'm going to link it below so you can shop everything um but yeah i want to show y'all everything that i got i did try on the pieces so i will have clips um on either side of the screen um that i took from my phone so let's get into the haul all right so the first piece that we have here is this white off the shoulder top with a floral print so let's get into the camera and let's zoom in yes ma'am yes quality um, but yes, this is like a white creamish, um, let me put this part on here so you can see the vision a bit better. There we go. An off the shoulder white floral top. It's giving very summery vibes. It's giving vacation vibes. Um, I got this in a size medium and it was $49.90, so $50 at Zara. I felt like that wasn't a bad price. Um, I don't own any like cropped off the shoulder tops in my collection and I thought that this would be really cute for like the summertime, especially to go on vacation. Um, when I was shopping at Zara, I was keeping vacation in mind because I'm planning on going out of the country in a few months and I was like, I gotta serve the girls looks. We're, we're giving elevated style, we're giving classy, but we're also giving bad bitch per usual so yeah i thought that she was really cute i was actually distraught when i bought this and i tried it on when i came home because it has a zipper on the side and it wasn't zipping up and i was like is my are my boobs too big is my back too wide like what is happening here um but then i actually tried this on um two days ago before filming this video um and it did zip up and i was super happy but it's really 
She's really cute. This is what the back looks like. So yeah, we love her. She is very much giving what needed to be gave. Here is the top. It's very cute and I do love it. I do have it paired with some jeans. And the only thing I don't like about these jeans, they're from Shein, is that I already have a small butt, so I feel like they make my ass a little flatter and make it look like a pancake, and I don't like that. But um, I do really like it with these jeans, though. Um, so this is the top. Um, I do love it. The only thing that I don't like is that I have this space right here. Um, and it's zippered all the way up, but like there's this space right here. My boob is not going to come out, but I don't know why there's all of this space right here. So I may have to take this to go get tailored. But other than that, I do really like, um, I do really like this top. It's very cute. You like her? This is what she looks like from the side what she looks like from the back you can't see my back that which is great um but yeah she's really cute love her next piece we have actually it is a set I mean technically they are sold separately and you could ooh, and you could style them um differently you don't have to wear them together it's giving Hillary Banks this is the crop top, and then this is the skirt. It's giving a very much Hillary Banks 90s vibes. Is this houndstooth print? Is that correct? Um, I don't know what this fabric is, but I like it. Um, so they both, shirt, I need you to cooperate with me today. So both the skirt and the crop top have um, invisible zippers on the side. Um, they also have the little button detailing on the skirt, it's on the side, on the top, it's in the middle. Um, very cute together, as you will see on the screen. Um, and I paired it with some yellow strappy heels that I also got from Zara. Here is the second fit. I wish that this was like a tiny bit more, like a tiny bit tighter. But other than that, I like her. I'm trying to see how far I can stand back so that you can see this skirt. And I'm on my tippy toes, but she's a mini skirt. I'm doing a lot of work here. Um, but yes, I do really like this. Camera, focus on my face, please. There we go. Um, I do really like this. Again, I don't think that you have to wear them together. I think you can pair them um, with different items and they would be cute, but yeah, she is the second outfit. Uh, oh, before we get into this, I forgot to tell you how much the last stuff costs, although everything will be linked down below. The crop top was $39.90, so $40, and the skirt was the same. Moving on. Okay, so we have this crop top here, right? And we have this bright ass skirt. Is this the right way? Yes, it is. This bright ass skirt. And I was like, ooh, this might be cute together. And Alexa was like, ooh, that would be cute together. Um, and I tried it on together when I came back, um, but I wasn't a fan of them together. So when I styled it, which you will see in the clip, um, that I'm gonna add on top of this video. I actually paired this skirt, it's actually a skirt, it has shorts in it. Um, very cute, detailing. Um, and you can tie the, um, to make like a little, a little knot, a little bow on the side and that would be cute. Um, this was $35.90, um, so $36. I actually paired it with a white, sleeveless bodysuit that, did I get that from Zara too? I did order that from Zara, but I ordered it months ago. Um, that's what I paired this with. This top I'm actually going to give away because I don't like it and I think it's because of the, the way that the band is on the bottom of the shirt. Um, I don't like that. Um, I feel like it presses into my stomach and it's not giving me what I need it to give. So I think I'm actually gonna give that 
to Goodwill. Here is the third fit with the skirt. Like I said, I initially got this red crop top to go with it, but I didn't end up liking it. Um, and so here is the skirt. You can't really see it as well, so there will be another clip, but yeah, she's very cute. You can tie this. I feel like you can do a ribbon, you can let it down like on the side. You can do, you know, kind of whatever you want. Excuse my nipples, I don't wear bras, um, and I don't wear pasties, so there's that. Um, but yeah, she's very cute. Um, she has shorts underneath. There, now you can see. Um, it has shorts underneath, so very comfortable. Um, so yeah. We like her. She's different for me, but I like her. <sighs> You're not gonna appreciate it until you see the clip on the side of me in it. I had paired this with, I think I paired it with pink, one of the pink heels that I bought from Zara. But this mini dress is giving very much 70s vibes. The 70s are coming back. If you have not noticed all the patterns, the prints, the bright colors, um, this is giving me very much disco, but like cute 2021, you know? So I really like her. She's really cute. She does the body well. The booty looks good. I don't feel like super self-conscious with my stomach or anything. Um, this dress was $25.90 size medium, everything here is in a medium. That's normally what I wear and stuff. The only time I get a small is if the medium fits too big or I can tell that the material is very, very stretchy. Then I will size down and get a small and then I size up and get a large when I want something to fit baggier um, if it's not already oversized. So like when it comes to t-shirts, sweatpants, sweatshorts, Sometimes I will size up. If it's unisex, I won't. I will actually size down and get a small because a small and unisex, which to me fits like men's clothes, I feel like would kind of be like a medium in women's. So that's how I do my sizing. But majority of the time I wear a medium, uh, a medium, a medium for reference. I'm 5'5", I'm 145 pounds roughly. So um yeah i really love this dress um she would be very cute um for a night out on the town but i think she's coming with me on vacation because she's finna give looks <sighs> yeah this is definitely my favorite piece that i ordered all right this is the fourth outfit i told you she's my favorite this is the green um, mini dress. We love her. She's my favorite um, out of everything that I bought in this collection. Yeah, I love her a lot. We're a little bloated because you know we ate a little while ago, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I love her. Love the color too, it's really hitting on my skin tone. Um, and my hair looks, the color looks really good with this, but you know it would look fire when I'm on vacation. Some uh, butt length, not less box braids would set this off and it would set this pink dress off. But yeah, love her. She's cute. So the last clothing piece, also a favorite. Let's zoom in on her. This is the front. You got some ruched detailing. Nyla, get your shit together <laughs> right here. Um, and this is what the back looks like. Is this the side that has it or this side? It's this side. We have an invisible zipper on this side. This is a midi silk satin, not sure what material this is, dress. Um, this is a size medium. So, ooh, excuse me. This is $49.90, so $50. I don't think that's a bad price for this. I initially picked this up in a small, and it was because on the rack, I did not see a medium. 
Um, and before we were about to check out, I was like, let me check this rack one more time. And I think I've got the last medium that they had. So shout out to God and shout out to me because it was meant to be. Um, so I got it in a medium. I'm very happy I got it in a medium because like it wouldn't have zipped right here um, with the small. Um, but she is super cute. I paired her with, I believe, the like burnt orangey red strappy heels that I bought from Zara. That's what I paired this with, but I feel like any of the heels that I bought from Zara could go really well with this dress as well as some other heels in my closet that I have. But she definitely gives me vacation vibes and she will be coming out the country with me. And I'm gonna serve y'all girls looks. So when y'all see this dress on this body on the Instagram, make sure you double tap. Make sure you like. This is the last outfit, the last dress. Please excuse my terrible singing. Um, so yeah, this is the last outfit. The satin dress. She is very cute. You can't see how long she is um, or where the slit is um, because I'm a little self-conscious about my food baby right now, so that's why my hand is here. Um, you can't see the split, but it's right there. Um, so yes, I really like her, and I cannot wait to take her with me. Thank you for focusing, camera. I cannot wait to take her with me on vacation because she is going to be fire. I'm already envisioning it low-key. If I didn't want to wear heels with these, but like a nice sandal and a sun hat with some long knotless box braids, bitch, it is a look. I mean, my natural hair looks good with this too, but I don't ever wear my hair out like when I go on vacation. I always do braids. I've gone on vacation with wigs before, but I prefer braids. Um, less chance that I have to reapply the wig. Can you focus camera? Focus on me, thank you. Um, so yeah, I love her. If you know me, you you see that I'm dressed in black right now, by the way, I'm wearing all skims. Um, skims, cotton, top, and then I'm wearing the boxers. This is not a skims video. Um, Kim Kardashian, if you're watching this, I wear your stuff all the time. If you would like to collaborate with me and sponsor me, that would be greatly appreciated. If y'all want a Skims video, let me know because I have an entire like section in my closet of just their loungewear um, that I could hang up on this rack and we can do a dedicated video to it because I freaking love Skims. Yes, it's loungewear, but I also be wearing it outside my house when I go and run errands because it's that comfortable and functional and why not? But anyways, it's not about skins. Um, what I was saying is, if you know me, you know I love neutral. So I have on all black right now. Um, black is one of my favorite colors to wear, but it is also a very neutral color. I also like whites. I like tans and browns. And, you know, I like very earth tones and neutrals. But I now that the world is opening back up and I'm back and waxed and ready to, you know, have fun and go out and go do things safely, of course. But, you know, going out and doing things, I needed to upgrade my closet a bit because we haven't been outside. And so I've been buying this loungewear and streetwear type stuff and I needed like dressier stuff. But I was trying to challenge myself and be like, do not buy like solely neutral colors. You need some like bright colors and pops of color in your closet, especially because like it's spring and, well now it's summertime, but when I was starting to shop for stuff, it was spring and now it's summer. And so, bitch, we need color. So I'm very proud of myself um, and pink is my favorite color. Um, so of course I was gonna buy some pink stuff. Um, I think yellow looks really good on my skin and then the lime green does it for me. That is all the outfits um, that I got from the Zara store when I was in Atlanta. I loved everything except for, like I said, the red um, crop top. She just was not doing it for me. So now we are going to move to my online Zara purchase that I'm very excited about. Zara, you did what needed to be done with these shoes, baby girl. Yes, I've already worn these shoes. Look at these heels. Camera, I need you to focus. Okay, my camera is done playing with me. Let's take a look 
there we go at these shoes um these are a size nine um and women um but when they came they had european sizing on it so i guess a size nine is a size 40 um in european shoes the next time because of the straps i can get my foot in it and it doesn't um come out the back or anything but i would size up to like a nine and a half if they have half sizes i don't remember um because of the strap in the front um but they do fit and they look so cute on my shoe on my shoe on my foot please let's get into the heel now i am a let me back up and move this way okay i am a stiletto bitch i like a high heel okay um but also i wanted to you know add a little variety to my closet if you will and so i was like maybe when we buy these heels this round of heels we go a tiny bit shorter than what i normally wear um and these heels from zara definitely did not disappoint i actually wore these um i think two or three weeks ago by the time you see this video um it will probably be almost a month ago i believe that i wore these i actually wore them with a navy blue blazer that i wore as a dress from bbx brands and i paired it with these heels because navy blue and yellow go really well together and i wore it to my friend's wedding and it was a look bitch i'm gonna insert a picture um of me with the shoes on but yeah these are everything they're yellow i can't remember how much they cost but um i have the receipt in my email so i'm gonna go back and put all the prices for the shoes in the description box um or put it on the screen um or both um so that you can know how much that they are because i took the tag off of all of the shoes um so that was the first pair also what i like and something that i noticed about these shoes that i bought from zara so the heel instead of starting i'm gonna zoom in real quick camera do your job so instead of the heel starting like up here it kind of starts like in the middle and i heard that when the heel starts this far, far back on the shoe that it makes it so much easier for you to walk in um I love heels, so even if it makes my feet hurt, I don't care, I'm gonna wear them. Although, I will say, I am a little ghetto, and sometimes when my feet really do be hurt from heels, especially if like it's almost time to go from where I'm at, depending on where I'm at, I will take these shits off and I will walk barefoot, and I don't care. You can judge me in the comments if you would like, but I don't care. But these have been, so far very comfortable to walk in so like i don't think i'm gonna have that issue but i bought two pairs of these heels pink is my favorite color look how cute these are again size nine but because these are strappy in the front next time i would probably camera focus focus i would probably size up um but i have two pairs of these so i have the pink ones and then i have on the website they i think call them red but to me i don't know how they're going to show up on camera to me they look like a burnt orange color um they look like a burnt orange like red a reddish like burnt orange but they are so 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 cute like look how cute these are and again my goal when I was ordering the heels just like when I was in the store buying the clothing pieces I wanted to get some colored heels because um, I think I only have one pair of heels in my closet that is not like a neutral um, all the rest of them are black black and white white or tan and then I have some blue um, strappy heels that I like to wear quite often because they're so comfortable and they're from Misguided. Um, but yeah, those were the only colored heels that I had. Everything else was a neutral color. So I was like, you need to uh, diversify your closet, diversify not only your clothes, but your heels as well um, and get some colored heels. So that was the goal of this purchase. Another pair of pink heels but these are mules and they are so comfortable. So initially, 
you know, when mules be mules became like popular and a thing, I kind of thought they were a little ugly, but I don't know. Then I grew out of that and I realized that maybe they're not that ugly and I bought, bought my first pair. I have like a pair of like snake skin um, Steve Madden mules, but the strap is um, clear. Um, they're so comfortable. No, they're not from Steve Madden, they're from Aldo. They're so comfortable, but I saw these and I was like, these are everything. Are you gonna focus camera? You don't wanna cooperate with me today, please. There we go. Also a size nine. Um, I think these are actually perfect for vacation. I'm probably gonna take all of these heels with me on vacation, but especially for like a quick, easy, like slip on shoe, like this is definitely it. It also gives me just a tiny bit, not with the heel, because I think the heel on the Bottegas are different, but with the way the front of the shoe looks though, it gives me very much Bottega vibes, but not Bottega price. The last pair of heels we have are another pair of strappy heels. Um, I love these as well. Haven't gotten to wear them yet, but I love these. These also lace up around the ankle. Um, so these are super duper, super duper cute. Super cute. Super duper cute. Camera. Come on. Focus. There we go. Very cute. Um, these have a much lower heel um, than the other heels that I bought, but um, they're still very much cute. They don't give me granny vibes. So, you know, they can stay. Um, so, yeah, I like those heels. Um, all of them pair well really pretty much with everything on this rack, but they also go well with um, a lot of the things that I have been adding to my closet and things that I already had in my closet. Um, low key, you can even get away with some of these heels with like a streetwear vibe, but make it dressy with the heel. So look, my mind. Thank you guys for sticking with me and coming back and watching another video. And if this is your first time tuning in, thank you for coming to my channel and watching one of my videos. Um, I thoroughly enjoy doing this haul. Um, I want to do more fashion hauls on my channel. Um, I really like taking pictures of my outfits and putting it on my Instagram stories and on my feed. But I also want to do some dedicated fashion content as well. Um, it has taken me a little bit to get to this point only because um, I get very insecure with my body sometimes and so when that happens I don't show it as much um, and so I don't want to try on clothes if I'm very self-conscious and I don't want to do no hauls. I don't want to take no Instagram pictures because I just feel insecure in my body but I've been feeling a lot better about it lately and you know work in progress I'm sure people can relate to that sentiment but yeah I want to challenge myself um and make the content I feel like I got lint on here even though I used a lint roller um to create the content because I like it and I love clothes I love shopping I like spending money it's a hobby I need to find a more sustainable one but I do enjoy um buying clothes buying shoes buying purses it's my shit, it's my jam, it's my thing. Shopping makes me very much happy. So yeah, I wanna create more videos like this. So if you did enjoy um, my Zara haul, this try on haul, please let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see more content like this. Again, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said in my previous videos, don't think you're gonna leave here without watching some more content. There will be videos on the screen per usual. So get to watching and I will see y'all in the next video.